Today on Daily in the Word, we begin the book of Zechariah, the 38th book of the Old Testament, and the 11th among the minor prophets. The prophet Zechariah was a Levite, born in captivity in Babylon. He, along with Joshua the high priest and Haggai the prophet, joins Zerubbabel and 50,000 Jews as they return to Jerusalem to build the temple. Since his ministry began two months after Haggai, it's possible Zechariah was stirred to service by the message of Haggai. His ministry complements Haggai's in stirring the people with regard to completing the temple. Haggai addressed the people while Zechariah speaks to the leaders. Under Zechariah's guidance and encouragement, the temple was completed. A simple outline of the book is to divide it into four parts, a call to return, a series of visions, a series of messages, and portraits in prophecy. So chapter 1 is the call to return. In verse 3, the Lord says through his prophet, Return to me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you. After Haggai's directive to get to work, the people began to serve feverishly. However, God's first concern is not with the work itself, but with the workers. Like the church of Ephesus, it's easy to be busy without abiding. Then in verse 4, the Lord said, Do not be like your fathers, to whom the former prophets preach, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Turn now from your evil ways and your evil deeds. But they did not hear nor heed me, says the Lord. Zechariah warns them not to be like those who heard the call of God, but refused to respond to the call of God. And hey, I don't know where you are in your relationship with the Lord today, but here are two things I took away from Zechariah chapter 1. First, God cares more about the minister than he does the ministry. He cares more about you and I than he does about what we're accomplishing for the kingdom. It's a reminder for us to put abiding in Christ above our work for Christ. And then second, yes, we should always listen to the Lord, but there's also an expected right response to what the Lord is saying. So if you feel like the Lord is calling you back to himself today, maybe you've been away from him for some time, man, turn around and start pursuing Jesus in every aspect of your life. That's always the right response.